the categories of cases that the general counsel has asked to have referred fall into several distinct categories. One category is what I would call the expansion of employee rights and union rights in case in, in, in workplaces where a union represents the employees. These involve uh, rem remedies in collective bargaining. They in, potentially involve restricting, cutting back on the ability of employers to hire permanent replacements during strikes. They appear to cut uh, back on the ability of an employer to declare impasse in collective bargaining, which would allow it to implement its final offer, and also the rights of employers to engage in what are called partial lockouts. These are all intended, no doubt, to cut back on the employer's rights in bargaining and essentially to give unions greater power. The second category of cases that are identified are cases that really play to the general counsel and the board's interest in expanding the act and its enforcement to the rights of employees who are not represented by unions. Uh, for example, the general counsel has said any case that involves uh, gig or alternate forms of employment now must be uh, referred to Washington. This is clearly an attempt or indicates a uh, likely attempt to uh, apply the act in, to people who may have been considered to be independent contractors to, until now and to probably hold uh, an expanded joint employer relationship to people who may not be employees of the company at all. Another specific case that is significant uh, in this list is the general counsel's uh, announcement that he looks, he's looking to expand Weingarten rights into non-union settings. Weingarten says that employees who are represented by a union have a right to have a representative, whether it's a co-worker or a shop steward, with them in an investigative meeting with the employer that has the potential to uh, result in discipline to the employee. The general counsel has now said that he wants cases that would allow him to argue to the board that those rights should be extended to employees who are not represented by unions. That would be a very big change. The GC's uh, priorities really tell us several things. They tell us that this board and this general counsel continue to be activists. They are looking to expand the, the National Labor Relations Act's reach into non-union workplaces. They are looking to uh, change existing law in collective bargaining, for example, the right of employers to hire permanent replacements during a strike, the rights of employers to implement their final offers in bargaining. Um, what it tells us is that the board is continuing to press and the general counsel is continuing to press to extend rights um, in ways that never were done before to employees who don't have unions and are not represented. <music>